Wow, she's something special. Yeah, she's awesome. Super she special. Really is. What is she? I don't even have. I don't. Even, I don't even know where to start. Yeah. So uh, generally, we call this koi lemon harawaki, or harawake. Uh, harawake is a word used to describe a um, tin foil, um, actually. Okay. Uh, so I don't know where. I mean, we understand it's definitely metallic fish, and that tin foil is sort of the yeah the different color kind of uh, on top. Uh, it's just an outstanding and it's an amazing example of this koi uh, lemon harawaki generally um, have a very very light color yellow uh, and this yellow is just I mean I just love it it looks like a pastel paint um, was put on that doit skin so we mentioned this before but this koi is completely scaleless um, and that's a doits variety which is a Japanese word for German Deutsch Mm -hmm. And so we have just this awesome, awesome skin to work with. And then this, you know, this smearing of beautiful yellow stripes down the side there. Um, I mean, everything about this koi is just spot on. It's got such a really cool, clear face. Um, its fins are just super bright and shiny. A lot of times, like, the fins will have sort of a um, transparency to them. And these fins are just... Not these. Yeah. And the eyes similar to, uh, what do they call it on Asagi that... Uh, well, yeah, like, uh, one red eye would be like Akame. Akame. Do they, yeah. is, this, is this considered Akame? It's not red. It's not red to but, be but yellow, so it would be like, a, like Kime or something like that. Okay. Um, I wasn't, yeah, sure, I wasn't of, sure if Akame just meant like the color of the fish to the eye or, you know, like... Oh, right, but right, But Akame right. means red, Red okay? eye, yep. Okay, so it's off topic, but it's beautiful that her eyes match yeah, her racing stripes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, it takes a while to get these Japanese words down. It does, man. It does. Especially when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love her. Okay, this could be off topic too, but one of our viewers just recently in one of our koi discussions, mm. uh, after we did um, the shusui, we showed the shusui mm -hmm. uh, next to Kujaku, they said, yeah. uh, we want to see ki shusui. Can you please do a video on ki shusui? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And so this reminds me of the, you know, I looked them up because they're beautiful, right? I was like, yeah, oh my sure. god, I, we got to see these. But is there any any relation to this? I mean... Uh, there's definitely, um, you know, I haven't studied the ancestry too much on um, kikusui or harawaki variety, but uh, I, there's no doubt about it that this racing stripe comes from uh, asagi and shusui bloodlines. Right. Um, so there's, there's definitely a correlation there. Uh, and you're exactly right. Like so, when we talk about ki shusui, these these pretty lines here. Yeah. That's that's exactly what a shusui a ki shusui would look like, except this koi would be blue instead of that platinum white. Yes. And then it would also have the uh, the scalation that we do have here on the fins, the top fins here. Yeah. That would be black, right? It would have that, right that reticulation netting that we see on asagi. And it's true we're seeing Fukrin um, around these scales on the, on the dorsal, right? Yeah, exactly. It's fantastic. Okay, so we don't know if it's related to Kishusui, but it was great because uh, I had not I had not seen Kishusui. I didn't know oh, sure. of the fish, and someone requested it. I went, what? I looked it up. Yeah. So you, we're going to have to bring some of those in. <sighs> it's going to be a hard fish to find. <laughs> I'll bet. I'll bet. Well, if anyone can find it and yeah. bring it, it'll be... Sean McHenry. Yeah, all right. So mission uh, this spring is find you a Kishisui. Man, she's so beautiful. I, I have a hard time talking about her because I just kind of want to stare at her. It's going to be a shame to let her go, huh? Yeah, I'm going to miss her. That's part of the beauty of, of your position is because you have this constant, ever-changing um, new koi coming in, new koi appreciation. Absolutely. And I think this is what's great about our koi discussions too is it, it helps people to appreciate the koi and the different qualities. And sometimes even like on that kohaka that we showed off, you know, even though it had some qualities that were maybe not so great, it mm -hmm. helped us understand more. I think I still think it looked beautiful in a, in a great way. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's nice to have a see, for me, like a, I have a constant flow of koi coming and going. And so I get to appreciate like this particular fish uh, but then I also get to appreciate, uh, you know, the hobbyist that takes care of it. Like, right. I, I see how happy uh, he or she's going to be with the fish. And, uh, 
you know, finding a good home for him. Well, she's as platinum as they can get, man. She's just glowing. Yeah. All right, well, I'm, I'm super appreciative that you enabled us to get into this amazing collection before it goes out the door. And uh, once again, I can't even thank you and Mr. Koi enough for taking the time out of your busy day to go through this and um, help teach everyone. Yeah, no problem, Eric. I love, I love doing this. This is a lot, it's a lot of fun for me and it's, um, you know, the amount of people, the feedback that I get from people and uh, the fact that they're learning about Koi, it, it makes me sense. Because of our efforts, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's great. It's good stuff. All right, well, until next time, we're going to move on. Cool, man. See ya.